Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Like the when I go and like the man I come, Zephyr is here. And today, I have come to review a game called Empire Shall Fall to see if it's worth playing during your downtime. Developed by Weird Penguin Games and published by Weird Penguin Games and Electronic Ship Games, Empire Shall Fall is a turn based tactics game that emulates the spirit of advanced wars. You are in control of a small fighting unit at the start of every level, and depending on the stage, you are allowed to produce new units. The objective remains the same, and that is to destroy all enemy units or capture their HQ to win the game. And most of the time, it is better to just do the former. And that is what Empire Shark Ball is all about. For those of you who have not experienced this kind of gameplay before, the tutorial does a great job introducing the game's mechanics and units level by level. But if you have played something such as Advanced War, the gameplay is all too similar. It looks like an Advanced War game, played like an Advanced War game. But is it an Advanced War game? The answer to that is no. Empire Shark Fall feels more like a clone at best or a watered down version of the game from which it was inspired from. The story exists just to serve as a background to what is going on. The commander's superpower feels like master in terms of both ability and animation in execution. All of the commanders share the same superpower, all of the units share the same fighting animation and list goes on and on. But the one thing Empire Shark Fall did that employs their own personal touch to the game is that you can upgrade your units pre-mission. And this is something that I like, along with the fact that the mission is rather short. But this goes to show that different missions emphasize different unit usage in order for you to beat the mission faster. Empire Shark Fall is a single player game with shared PvP and co-op mode being an option. Despite the negative sounding connotation I have for the game, I must say that Empire Shall Fall is, objectively speaking, a decently made game. The only reason why I point out those flaws is due to my prior experience in playing titles that offer similar gameplay experience. Titles such as Advanced War, War Group, and Tiny Metal. And because of that, in my honest opinion, the game could certainly use more polish. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Empire Shark Fall. And the game is available on the PC. You can get the game for $13 or based on the region GDP. And I recommend getting Empire Shark Fall for $13 for you to play during your downtime. Although I think the asking price is fair. I might suggest you lower your expectation should you decide to get the game. Or if you have played Advanced War before and you want something similar to play on Steam, you will realize that Empire Shark Fall is lacking in certain aspects. I am not saying the game is downright bad, just saying to curb your expectation down to a minimum. But if you haven't played Advanced War or War Group before, Empire Shark Fall is a rather decent entry point for you to experience such gameplay. My name is Zephyr, like the wind I go, and like a man I come, and it's time for me to go. Thank you for watching all the way to the end, and if you enjoyed the review, do consider subscribing to the channel as it will help me out a lot. Stay safe, have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya!